but it'll be the same triangle. It's gonna move the sink to this wall and the oven or range to this wall. We'll have our window out the back here and we'll still have a similar triangle, right? Ideal on me, ideal on three. One, One two, two, three, ideal! Cabinets, they're important because we need to put things away in them, you know? You need to store your food, you need to put away your pots and your pans, you need to put your spices away, and they also provide a way to make space, storage space. But so you got it. You got to put them on the studs, right? Like you can't screw that up because it can't. Well, the yeah. And Can you imagine just putting it into the drywall? <laughs> put some cans of corn in there, and just just enough weight. <laughs> It was right before we did drywall. We had to put blocking. So they were pieces of two by four. And they kind of like went into the wall in a couple places. Yeah. So it would be way up there where you don't reach and right behind the wall right here. And they were just two by four pieces. And it's basically for this right here, those screws. It's something for the screws to go into and to hold this up there so without falling out. This is where blocking and, and good studs fit on. Yeah, absolutely. Making sure that your studs are sticking on center. And if they're not, that's what blocking helps with because, you know, the cabinets aren't going to be put, it's not gonna be designed for you to make sure that it gets onto a onto a stud. It's, it's gonna go wherever it is gonna use up the space in the kitchen, you know, depending on where your appliances go and stuff. Dylan, my partner once again. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Partners in crime. Because that's what's gonna meet up with that one. So the front and this one. Okay. Not that one. Got it, Chief. Because that one's gonna go up, like, up towards the wall, right? No, I thought that there was a gap. There's a gap on both sides. Oh, Remember, because it's 30 inches, not 33. Oh, there's a gorilla ladder there. Safety first! Come on, man. Hurry, hurry, run, 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 run. You're gonna miss it. <laughs> he said, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> this is a filler board. It fills up the space in between the cabinets. <laughs> what are the fillers for? <clears throat> so basically what they're gonna do is uh, encase both sides of the cabinetry, uh, just to make it look nice and smooth and on center and symmetrical and every other buzzword. It's what the name implies. It fills up a little bit of space, a little bit of a gap in between the two cabinets, if there are Making two or the, the wall of the nice cabinet. And tight. Toy like a toyga. Like a toyger. <laughs> Wait, it's on just on the front then? Just on the front. Okay. Just on the front? Just on the front, what he said. That's what he said. I'm just following him around right now until we have everything we need. Chocala. <laughs> it was so bad. <laughs> that was a bad chocala. That was a bad chocala. What happened, Dylan? Getting a little bread nail gun. It does not have a battery. Relax. Um, it opens up. If I don't remember how to open it. Oh, just kidding. There's a. Oh yeah, and we have we're using small, little, tiny ones. Why? I don't know. Yeah, so we're we're what we're doing with the cabinets is that we're putting in that little. See, they're kind of flat and really skinny, and they're short too. So what we're doing with these is we're putting that little piece of wood that we just cut on to the cabinets. And it's basically kind of like that blocking that we did 
we're um, just creating something to mount something else onto. So these cabinets are gonna have crown molding above it. And um, so basically this little strip of wood is something to be able to keep that in place, right? And now that he put that there, I'm wondering if this is actually gonna be too short. Can we pull it forward? Do whatever you wanna be. I can do whatever I wanna be? Perfect. All right. No, it needs to come down a little tiny bit. Nope, nothing. Right there. In this space, there's gonna be a little bit of a gap uh, between here and the wall. Uh, so basically we take that gap and divide it by two and then we put the filler boards in here so that hopefully when we're done, do you mind going and grabbing two of your clamps? Oh, for sure. Going fishing. Wah, wah, wah. Going fishing for clamps. We're, we're clamping down. So right now we're just checking to see what this group is doing and how their cabinets are looking so we kind of get an idea to help us out and figure out what we're doing. But you can see they have their cabinet up now and you can see the two little filler pieces. <laughs> Workplace violence! No, it's good. It's, it's good to have somebody that relatively knows what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> no, Austin's really yeah, helpful. Right <laughs> but you gotta bring him back down a, a notch or two. You That's can't, right. you can't let his head fly away like a balloon. Brad nails for this too? No, so those ones, I'm gonna go grab the screws. Is it just want, kind of? Let's see if you can get any gooder. <sighs> any gooder? Any you can try, but I doubt it. So are we using a drill? Yeah. Is that what that long skinny one is? That's exactly what it is. Ooh, don't take it with me. Right so I don't like it. <laughs> I'm gonna put on my safety glasses. Cause I'm a drill. And then we're gonna notch our little pilot holes here with my handy dandy drill. And he's just marking little little spots for me. Ugh, that was easy. When you're drilling pilot holes into the glue lamp beams, you use this giant bit, and it's like this thick. So you're like trying to hold on to it, going through like all these pieces of wood. There's a nice little button here that makes it go backwards and forwards. So when you kick that on to go backwards, and that big, Big bit is in there. Make sure your face is not in the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Isabel did well. Look at that. So it seems. Yeah. So it seems. Let's not get overly confident. <laughs> Clamps are coming off. The Let's clamps. see. Clampage. Booyah. Yay! It worked! The uh, spacers right here? Yes. Do you do the spacer first? Like you put the spacer on the 30 inch first? That's what we're doing. Perfect. We literally just did Present. that right now. Oh, whoa! Yeah. yeah. Did you just brad nail it in? I oh. held it in with my powers and then Dylan drilled it. Whoa, that's pretty cool. So, the clamps are just there for show. Okay. <laughs> lapis. Please. His lapis way. Let's
guy right here. Am I ruining your progress? No. We're just trying to line it up and we're having trouble because I think maybe this little piece of wood that we have might be warped. So it kind of has a little bend in it. And so when we put this one up flush against to this side, it pushes this side down. So it's just annoying. And this is something that's going to be seen by the customer once they purchase this. So we want to try to get it as perfect and nice looking as possible. Why I prefer framing by a wide margin. She can't see it. Yep. Queso! Look! Yes. What about it? Are you on 36 or no? No. I don't know. It's off just slightly. So hopefully, hopefully, it'll fit back there. We'll wait and see. What, what do you mean it'll fit back there? This one with its filler on. <laughs> it's <Yeah>. on those! <laughs> Just hold this up. Just apply that little bit of pressure to get it even. I think that's what we're going to have to do. Cafeína. Like a hyena. Cabinete. Cabinete. What is that? Gabinete. That's what it means. It means gabinete. Oh. Ready? Oh. Do you want to put it back up here or do you want me to put this? So we're going to use the Brad nail gun in just a moment. We need a battery for it. But this is where we have to be really careful because... I don't know if I like this one. You want another piece? Okay, look if you look right here on the side, this is all the space that we have. And this is how much this hangs over. So we don't want to get that nail too close to the front because then it'll damage this right here. And that's not something we want to do. Now we're going to install the cabinet. working. What does it look like? Go. <laughs> we're going to put the cabinet into the wall. Oh, this one. What? What is the difference? Let me see. This one's just narrower. OK, yeah. yeah. Cool. It's a T10. Works a bit 10. Great. Locked and loaded. I guess you're gonna hold the cabinet and I'm really? screwing in this. What? what? That's what we gotta do sometimes. When, when the stronger person just happens to be a guy, it is what it is. It is what it is. How is this not gonna get in your way? The best way to not get in your way? What do you, how do you wanna do it? Like here? And where will you stand with the cabinet? Underneath it? Okay. But I'm not going to be able to. Um, Do you want me to? grab a level for you, too. Throw oh, okay, yeah. Thank you. So, what's the plan here? Is about like that? He's going to hold the cabinet, you're going to drill it? Yeah, he's going to go grab a level so we can put it across both of them to make sure that they're both together because these are going to all be flush with each other. And yeah, he's going to hold the cabinet for me and I'm going to drill it into place. Oh. Looking for some hot stuff, baby, to see this. You want me to... Hold on. Do you want me to... What do you want me to do with the level and when do you want me to use it? I know why I'm using it. Put it on top of this thing. Yes. It's up in the air. Okay. Are you sure you want that job? I am shorter. Oh, okay, I see. You can almost pretty much stand on the up. Dude, my boobs, my boobs are gonna be right in your face. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just realized this. I'm sorry. Wait, where are the screws? I don't know. Probably get those, eh? Which ones are they? The okay, ones put that the, thing down. The the You're gonna get tired. Alright, I'm gonna stand up. There are those same ones that we used? Where are the screws? Hey, Elijah. Is it time to I take a break? Put this down, though. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. My question is, we're only going to be able to get. I need to go look at someone else's project, just because it looks like I can only put two screws in this thing. Unless I have to look for a stud. <laughs> well, is this this is this is what the matter is here. Isabel doesn't reach. Jordan, come here. Yeah. <laughs> what? 
I'm I'm not holding this. <laughs> just my little fingertips. <laughs> what? I can't reach. No. Is it good there? It's like I'm on my tiptoes and my fingertips. <laughs> Pull out the side screws. Oh, I see what you're doing. And then yeah, yeah. slowly and press that yeah. down. Mm -hmm. I would try that before pulling the whole thing The thing down. is, the, the pilot bits might just make it snap back into place. So you may have to do a different hole. I hate that. Me too. I'll hate it more. Okay. We can't, <laughs> okay. we can't put it like where the hinge is. Oh no, because that, that thing's going to go through. All right. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be a problem. Uh, how are people putting their pilot holes here? Is there a drill there? Um, so the drill doesn't fit there very well, but. <laughs> They're um, having to fix the little piece that we added. What is that called again? The little pieces? Silver board. Okay, let me start. So Nelson and Dylan just added, we, stop! Nelson and Dylan just had to adjust our filler board because it's something, like I was saying earlier, um, it's something that like a customer is gonna be able to see. So there was a little gap on the bottom, so Nelson and him brought down that little piece of filler board, like just the tiniest amount to make it flush to the bottom because it's something that your eyes gonna catch. So he just helped him like make sure that everything was pushed into place. He had to drill a new pilot hole. Otherwise, if we would try to drive those same pilot holes and we'd put those same screws in, it would just push it back up. So that's what they were doing. So we need from here and down there. Oh yeah, from that. Thing. You know. You know the thing. You know. You get it. He's done this a couple times before, maybe once. Nothing was accomplished. Look, we're still getting them done. That's what happens when you goof around all day long. This is what he does. It's going well. Um, we still have a little ways to go, but putting in those little pieces, as he's doing right now, is hard. You want to get it like flush, and and you know you want it to look really nice. So you have to take your time with it. And so you know, with that being said, it does take time and you know we can't get this done quickly you don't want a messy job but it's coming along I'm sure that once we hang this one up I think we only have one more on the top and then we can finally get started with the bottom ones so hopefully that moves along a little bit faster we'll see